Hi there. Uh, we've got a few things to take a look at. And by seeing the title, obviously you've seen lots of people do videos on this already. So this is just going to be a quick unboxing, uh, initial opinions and, and, I, and, and feelings. And, and we're just going to leave it at that. But anyway, this is uh, Analog's new pocket device. And I've never purchased anything from them. Um, saw this as a good way that could potentially help me play Pokemon games on my Game Boys, uh, also stream them um, because it plays uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Advanced games. And I thought that it, on top of that, would just be a great way to just play Game Boy games in general. So we're going to crack in. I've got three things in here. Let's go with the, the least important. This is actually just a screen protector. I literally just received this today. I've had it in my possession for like two hours and I've been working. So I wanted to record this so that I could actually dick around with it a little bit in a break. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a little rip tab over here on the side. I like their packaging, I like how it just says accessory. Oh yeah, this is just a tempered, tempered glass screen protector, super basic. Let's move on to this one, which this is a very uh, nice item for people that want to like uh, stream Game Boy games or anything like that that they make or play on the pocket. Wait, nope, this is not the dock. This is the console. I got them confused because of the size of the box. That's okay. I want to see this too. So I got pocket. Very nice boxing. Um, reminds me of like Apple products or like cell phones when you purchase them. This is one that I haven't seen from a lot of people. So I picked up the white version. Oh, <laughs> so let's get this up here. Most people I've seen have gotten the black. Got a cable. This is USB-C to USB-C. Feels pretty nice. Uh, hello. Got a quick start guide and a sticker. I doubt that there's anything else in there, but yeah, let's check this out. That is clean. Buttons feel very nice. Got your SD card, micro SD card slot on the side, speaker, LNR button triggers, game cartridge slot, uh, link cable port, USB C, indicator lights, and headphone jack. And you have on this side your volume rocker plus your power standby button and your other speaker. And you got start, select, and then your analog home button, the FPGA logo. Very nice. Should we go ahead and just power it up real quick? Probably push and hold actually before we do that. Yeah, push and hold. Welcome to Pocket. Tutorial. Button, start, select, volume. Uh, push together to mute. Okay. Hold this for bright. Oh, okay. So just insert brightness settings. Display modes during gameplay. Power. Okay, cool. And of course, there's a user agreement. There's updates coming for this, uh, which are going to give it some really nice functionality. Update. I'll have to worry about that another time. Yeah, let's play a cartridge. Okay, first Game Boy game. Slots right in there. Oh, it's set immediately to the uh, the 
the Game Boy Green. We've got uh, original DMG, Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Pocket Light. Oh wow, it's even got like that digital blue light. Uh, Neon Matrix. And then analog GB. I that that is clean. That's so clean. Also, it's very loud. Mutes just as it says. That's fantastic. Okay, let's quit. <laughs> I have a couple other things. Uh, how about this? Oreo word twisted. Obviously, being that this is the screen size is based on the Game Boy uh, screen ratio, uh, Game Boy Advance games are going to look a little bit different. Works just fine. That's awesome. It looks, it looks amazing. Um, I am so excited by this thing. I've seen people, I've seen people do like the Game Boy camera, and it fits in. Ridge sort of just sits right on top there. <laughs> what a crazy way to play this. Oh my god. I actually spent a lot of time with that game. And then I'll just try... I'll try one more. My lovely Pokemon yellow cartridge. Obviously, being a Game Boy Color game, or Game Boy Color compatible. Oh god, that looks amazing. <laughs> it doesn't improve the sound, but it's... <laughs> it looks amazing. So one, one thing that I will say um, is that... With the black version, Having the black border on the screen probably helps make it look a little bit nicer, but I wanted I wanted to be different. <laughs> I want to be built different and, and have the white version. So let's just set this off to the side and we'll put it to sleep. And we'll open up this one. So this is the dock. That is such a nice clean system. And I mean, obviously we've been waiting for this thing for like ever. I have purchased, I think, two other ways of playing Game Boy games on uh, on stream outside of this. This is... thing feels nice. It's heavy. Like, this right here alone. <laughs> it's like cold and super metallic to the touch. What do we got here? We have an HDMI cable. And we have USB to USB-C cable. And we have an analog branded uh, wall wart for the power. Nothing else. Yeah, I got, obviously, I think these are just USB light indicators for, uh, or not USB, but indicators probably for the player numbers or what's at, whatever is attached. But you have USB for connecting a USB controller. Um, this is probably the sync button for Bluetooth, power, HDMI, and another USB port. So you can use this with uh, Bluetooth controllers as well as wired USB. And then this just plugs in 
right there and allows you to play your games on the TV, which I will definitely be using that. Um, one of the games that I'm going to be playing in the near future is actually a Game Boy Advance game, and I would very much like to use this to play it on my computer or play it on stream. But yeah, that's going to be it. This is a wonderful little device. I, I'm just, I'm so stoked. <laughs> Uh, definitely going to be seeing more of this, or at least more of things that are played through this. And uh, I'm really excited to sort of just mess around with it in the future. But yeah, let me know uh, if you have been able to get a hold of one of these, because I know that they were super hard. I've I've had this pre-ordered for, God, a couple years now. It, basically, as long as they had pre-orders available, I've had this pre-ordered. Appears there might be an issue with this game. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments what you think. We'll see you guys later. Bye for now.